today. From SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. It's a special Halloween presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Chargers. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the third overall pick in April's draft, the rookie from North Dakota State, Trey Lance. On first down, Lance, he's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Lance looking to throw it. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Here's Lance to throw it. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's got some space here. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Josh Jacobs, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. And here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he's out right at the 25. Here we go. Here we go. The interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only are they stout at the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Play action now, Walker. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they go play action. Here's Walker. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now, as a defensive coordinator, you've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Throwing on first down is Lance. 
Throw right side caught by Ridley. And yeah, the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll run it with Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Josh Jacobs with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Patriots have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. On the return from his end zone is Grant, and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've had that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense. They may blitz more in the beginning to get them going. On offense, they may go more up-tempo. Anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. From the 27, Walker. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now Walker. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Watkins. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Walker. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Chris Carson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chargers are able to make this a close game again. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Pats at the line ready to go. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you talk about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. Jonah Williams, former first-round pick, the guilty party. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. 
Off of play action, and here's Lance. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. his lance on third down he finds his man complete it's Jacobs and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion a pair of first downs gives him a first and ten up at the 44 to throw it's Lance throw left side complete that's Thomas and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40 Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the end. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Rashawn Gary able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. You definitely would like to hit on that one because now you've got a third and long showing up, and you just know defense is going to be getting after it. They are pinning their ears back, and they are coming. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Jordan Brooks in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. The Charger drive about to get going. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. To throw once more on second and 10, Walker. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Walker now. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Fourth down, Walker. And this is caught. He hits more. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Off the play fake, Walker. And oh, a dangerous throw there. Nearly intercepted on the sideline, but it's incomplete. A second down throw for Walker. He gets this complete to Cephas. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And with time running down, they go down to a knee.
So we are at halftime. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? Well, paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks, I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. Now Walker. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Walker, quick slant, caught by Moore. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. But Charles, you know, something we talked about last week, when you start believing whether you're in the midst of a special season or not, well, now they're at 6-0. and oh. Are you still trying to tamp down the expectations in that locker room? Well, to me, it's less about tamping down expectations and much more about not getting ahead of yourself as a team. And look, they've got to play each game individually, right? Many teams talk about being 1-0 and oh at the end of each and every game each week. To me, you got to understand, you cannot win the Super Bowl in October. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the shotgun, it's Walker. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 36. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. More from L.A. in a moment. They'll run on first down. Carson, and they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 52 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Right back to him on first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On third down, it's Carson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot come again. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Shotgun now for Lance. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, it will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And now it's a bootleg with Walker. 
Room to run past midfield. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. The Walker now to throw on first down. And he's taken in by the tight end fan. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And quickly they get to the line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Chargers! Quintez Cephas, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Extra point try now for Vedvik. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on nowhere to go here. He lost the football and picked up by the Chargers. And they'll have great field position here as the ball will be at the 15-yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Carson. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Chris Carson, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Chargers capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Point after, right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. New England trying to get into place on offense. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. First and ten, here's Lance rolling to his left. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And Lance now to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And Lance going to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off here by Jenny Smith. And the Chargers will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. 
Walker. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. The Chargers on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Over the middle complete, it's Moore. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to go like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already... And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. James O'Shaughnessy, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chargers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards to pick up there. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And his throw here is incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And his throw is incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Lance. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. That is incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Now a dump off here complete, and he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 33. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing again on second down. Lance, he'll get this underneath to Jacobs. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Meanwhile, Lance's throw complete to Rager. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts 
As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. From the gun, it's Lance. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. On second and goal, Lance. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half.